Hi, and welcome to the Nagios YouTube page. My name is Mahad, I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios, and in today's video, we'll be going over dashboards in Nagios XI. I'll show you how you can manage, design, and deploy your very own custom dashboards. A dashboard is a customizable page where you can display important information. So no need to navigate through different pages searching for the information you need. You can centralize everything in one place for quick access. You can customize your dashboard by adding dashlets. A dashlet is a visual element or widget that displays specific information. You can find them scattered all throughout the Nagios XI web interface, and you can download additional dashlets on the Nagios Exchange site. So with that being said, let's log in and explore dashboards. All right, once you're logged in, you'll land on what's called the homepage dashboard. Each user has their own independent homepage dashboard. Just like any other dashboard, you can customize it to fit your needs. To manage your dashboards, go to the dashboards page by clicking on the dashboards option in the top menu. Here is where you'll find all your dashboards. You can add, manage, deploy, or import dashboards, as well as add and manage dashlets. First, let's start by making a new dashboard. To do that, click on the add new dashboard option to the left. Pick your dashboard's title and background color. Once you're ready, click the submit button to create your new dashboard. Once you've added a new dashboard, it'll be empty. So let's bring it to life and add dashlets. Click available dashlets on the left side of the page to find ready to use dashlets. You can also explore more dashlets on the Nagios Exchange by clicking more dashlets. For this example, let's add the host group status summary dashlet. This will show the status of all of our host groups. Hover over the left corner of the dashlet and click add this dashlet to a dashboard. Choose a title for your dashboard and pick which dashboard to add it to. Then click add it to finish. Now you can go back to your dashboard and you'll see this dashlet was added. By default, Dashlets will be placed on the top left of the dashboard. Just click and drag to where you want to place it. Great. So, what if there's a page that has information I'd like to add to my dashboard, but it's not listed on the available dashlets page? Well, I've got two tips to help. For example, I want my dashboard to display a graph from the graph section of the home page. Well, I can do that if the graph has an add to a dashboard option you can simply click add it to a dashboard like any other dashlet. Click add to dashboard, choose dashlet title, and select the dashboard to add it to. And there it is on your dashboard. You would use this second option only if the data is not available as a pre-built dashlet, meaning it doesn't have the add to dashboard option. So in that case, we can use the custom URL dashlet to display the data. But first, we'll need the URL link. Let's try to display the event log on the reports page. I'll click reports, then event log on the left. Click on the icon with the three horizontal lines on the far right of the navigation menu bar. Then click the chain icon, which is the fourth option. This will give us the permalink. Copy the link. Now go back to the available dashlets page. Let's find the custom URL dashlet. Click Add to Dashboard. We'll provide the URL of the page containing the data. Set parameters you want, and then the dashlet will be displayed on your dashboard. Now that you know how to add a dashboard, how to manage a dashboard, and how to add dashlets to a dashboard, I'll show you how you can deploy dashboards to users in your enterprise. You can do this on the dashboards page by clicking deploy dashboards here to the left. Select the users you want to receive the dashboard and with the click of a button, your dashboards will be shared. And now you have all the insight you need to start using dashboards. Make the most of this powerful feature and customize your monitoring experience. Well, that's it. I hope this video helped you 
in understanding and managing dashboards in Nagios XI. If you have any further questions, you can visit us at support.nagios.com. You can also check out more tutorial videos on our Nagios YouTube channel. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>